Hey everybody, welcome back to the Working Man's Whiskey. I'm Bobby. Uh, happy Fourth of July, everybody. Um, today's review I want to do is this one here, Horse Soldier uh, Barrel Proof. Um, and uh, Horse Soldier, um, this is from American Freedom Distillery. Uh, I thought it was a very fitting um, kind of you know whiskey to celebrate our freedom um, and be appreciative of um, some of the people who um, are responsible for uh, giving us those freedoms that we have today. So, as I said, Horse Soldier, um, uh, this is the barrel proof expression. Um, they have a few different ones. They have one that's um, got a, you know, a, your normal uh, corn, rye, malted barley mash bill. Uh, they have a couple weeders, including this one here. Uh, this one is made up of 70% corn, 20% uh, uh, red winter wheat and 10% malted barley and uh, this whiskey uh, from what I've kind of gathered um, read about it uh, is around eight years old so um, nice age on the whiskey and uh, this is a, one of those whiskeys guys that um, the backstory kind of got my attention first uh, my buddy uh, Russ Phillips who's kind of become my uh, sort of right-hand man um, yeah, he's been a good friend to me and he always has uh, good ideas for uh, reviews and uh, he told me about this one he had gotten it himself um, but uh, he told me the backstory on it you know just uh, about these horse soldiers um, after 9-11 who um, were Green Berets that were dropped into Afghanistan and uh, their job was to kind of uh, chase the Taliban out um, so uh, it had a great backstory. Um, this whiskey is made by four of those Green Berets um, who actually rode on horseback in uh, the rugged terrain of Afghanistan. That's why they were on horseback. Um, you know, just the rugged terrain of that area. Uh, they felt like they could get around. Um, you know, the, they were constructed. You know, it was uh, um, several teams of men. Um, getting around the uh, countryside there um, on a mission. So uh, very cool, um, very, very cool story behind it, um, which is, you know, for me, part of it. Um, but, you know, at the same time, you know, I want a good whiskey to go with a good story. So um, this whiskey, I mean, I'll tell you in a few minutes, but this whiskey is very, very good. Very good. Um, these guys, uh, you know, they had a good story to tell, but drinking this whiskey, um, you can see the quality um, that they put behind it. I mean, they, after they got out of, um, you know, the Middle East, um, came back here, you know, they wanted to make whiskey, and their, their whole thing was to, um, kind of not not slouch on the whiskey you know make a good whiskey that they would drink and whatever they didn't drink they would sell that was the whole idea behind it and uh uh you know i'll i could talk for a while guys but i'll pop this open but uh there's so many cool things about this uh whiskey the uh the label uh the bottle design and all that um was actually uh the idea ideas of um the wives of these men of these four guys that came back and uh, started making this whiskey and the the molding of uh for the bottle you know where they get the shape of the bottle all that mold, the, the molding that makes these bottles um is made from steel um that is from the was from the world trade center itself so that's pretty uh pretty neat guys and if you ever i haven't been myself and I would love to go one day but if you ever go to Ground Zero out there in New York um, look for the horse soldier um, statue there is a statue there a monument to uh, celebrate these men who uh, you know went on this brave uh, mission and uh, there's also a, a movie if you guys you know kind of want to look uh, on the Hollywood side of it too you know read both you know read the true story and hear the interviews with these men and also watch the movie um, uh, 12 Strong. Um, I, 
I haven't watched it myself yet, uh, the movie. I plan to. Um, I've heard great things. I've read good things. Um, and reading more into uh, these horse soldiers, uh, you know, it just makes, it makes me want to find out even more about them. Uh, brave guys. And uh, just everything I've seen, uh, it's a stand-up group of people. You know, um, and you know, I'm I'm proud to be reviewing this whiskey today, on uh, Independence Day. So, here we go, guys. Horse Soldier. Uh, this is forged in fire, as I said. The the molding for this bottle um, is uh, from steel from the World Trade Center. So, uh, and a very cool metal plate there as well. You can see the Horse Soldier on the front there. That's a um, that's what the uh, statue actually looks like at Ground Zero. So this is 112.44 proof, uh, by the way. Uh, so 56.22% ABV, um, uncut whiskey. And I'll read you the back of this real quick. It says, the United States of America was forged by pioneers, bold trailblazers, explorers, and warriors. Uh, in the American spirit of adventure, we proudly present Horse Soldier Bourbon Whiskey. Horse Soldier Bourbon Whiskey is uniquely complex and aged in charred new American oak barrels Every bottle of Horse Soldier bur uh, Bourbon is a piece of American history. It is carefully crafted by Green Berets who answered America's call just days after 9-11 with a daring uh, insertion in Northern Afghanistan on horseback. This brave and unconventional act earned them the moniker, the Horse Soldiers. So, um, and it's handmade and bottled by American Freedom Distillery in uh, Columbus, Ohio. So pretty interesting stuff guys. Let's check out the whiskey. All right, so in the glass, it's a nice dark color, guys. It's a uh, almost a, a chestnut. Uh, yeah, I'd say chestnutty type uh, color there. And on the nose, one of the first things I get: uh, red apples. Um, nice hint of red apples there. There's a leather note about this, a very, uh, and I like that a lot, um, very unique uh, scent on this uh, whiskey here. You know, you have your caramels and uh, it's got baking spice, you know, I get, um, I get some cinnamon, I get nutmeg, but clove, there's a good clove note in there as well. Some oak. A little bit of a nuttiness to it, not in a Jim Beam uh, type of way, that roasted peanut, but it's a different, uh, maybe like cashew, but there's a little bit of a nuttiness there. Let's take a sip. And on the palate, it's 112, it's 112.44 proof, but I feel like that character that comes with that proofing, it just gives you so much. Um, again, I get red apples, I get, I get that little bit of a nuttiness. You get some of your classic bourbon notes. Yeah, I get a little bit of brown sugar, um, caramel type note. But it's just a very complex whiskey. It really is. And these guys put in the work uh, to make the best whiskey they could. And it's really good stuff. That leather note again. A little bit of that oakiness. It's, it's got some of those sweet character uh, characteristics, like the brown sugar, as I mentioned, but it's not one of those overly sweet bourbons. It's a very uh, well-balanced bourbon, uh, you know, between the, a little bit of sweetness, but it's got that spiciness. It's got a softness about it from that, uh, red, uh, that red winter wheat. 
and it's just a very well constructed bourbon. Um, and this is, and I like the, the back of it. I was reading the little, there's a little patch in the back here, a little emblem. It says, uh, Legendary Men, Legendary Spirits, American Freedom Distillery. Very cool. You know, I, I love it when there's a great backstory um, that has a great bourbon to go with it. You know, I've, I've reviewed several. You guys know how many reviews I've done, um, over 200 now, um, and a lot of whiskeys have great backstories, but uh, not all of them have uh, a bourbon that matches up with it, and uh, this one definitely does. You know, I mean, they really did it justice, the whole backstory. You know, when I first ho heard of Horse Soldier, um, you know, I, it picked my interest, you know, but I was like, oh, okay, you know, um, It'd be nice if you know they had um, a good quality product as well so when I talked to my buddy Russ about this and uh, this this was a Father's Day present from my uh, wife and kids so um, and it's a little expensive that's why it was a Father's Day present uh, it's up near 70 bucks here uh, but well worth it guys you know you can swing it um, you know I'm glad that I got to try this out and I would buy this again definitely if I had the extra money this is up there with uh, with a lot of uh, great whiskeys I've had and uh, it's very cool to be able to say that uh, to appreciate um, these brave guys who went on this mission after 9-11 and um, did what they did and it's great to have this beautiful whiskey it really is a beautiful whiskey to to go with that story um, so, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I mean, I, I feel patriotic all the time. You know, I, I love, I really love our country. We don't always get it right. We don't, we have our faults, but we have a great country. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. Um, and you know, this, uh, you know, today drinking this whiskey and, um, you know, got this fire behind me. Never really got quite got started. It's okay. Cause, uh. Uh, we have other things to do anyway today but you know just i appreciate the little things that i get to do every day uh, talk to you guys you know i you know it, they're little things but they all amount to something bigger and uh you know i just uh fourth of july i just think back on um you know i've had family that have fought in every war we've had we've ever had on this uh soil you know from the revolution on um you know, was just uh, checking my mom's Facebook earlier and she had uh, posted this, uh, it was kind of a, she reposted this uh, post that she had a few years ago uh, talking about some of our family. Um, you know, we have several family members who um, fought on uh, Bunker Hill, Bunker Hill, Breeds Hill, uh, in the American Revolution. Um, and, uh, you know, some died, some lived, but, um, you know, it, it just, uh, I'm proud for, uh, for everything that I come from and uh, that we all come from, you know. Uh, as I said, we don't always get it right, but it's, you know, it's still a beautiful country, guys. It really is. And uh, we're very fortunate. So, um, hope you all have a great, I'm going to have to take one more sip of this because that's one big, uh, ah, screw it, I'll shoot it. That's fine. But I hope you all have a great 4th of July. And, uh, you know, be safe out there, but uh, have a good time, you know, try to, you know, to find a good balance there. Um, but, yeah, I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Definitely check out Horse Soldier. Um, they have several expressions, as I mentioned. This one is the, the barrel strength. Um, so I uh, hope you like it, guys, because it's very good stuff. I'm going to give it one more sip. I haven't scored it yet. Just remember that, so. All those notes from that leather. There's a little bit of a tobacco note in there as well, guys. But the leather, the red apple, um, brown sugar, oak, those spices, um, very well-rounded whiskey. So Horse Soldier's going to get a 93 from me today. Um, I think that's a very fair score. Um, and it's 
you know, I highly recommend it. So, guys, check it out, definitely. Have a happy 4th of July. Look forward to getting back on here with you guys soon. And uh, God bless our great country, guys. Talk to you all soon. Have a good day.